Before we start crocheting, we need to make a slip knot. A slip knot is basically a knot in the end of our yarn that creates a circle or a loop for our crochet hook to go through. In order to create the slip knot, we're going to take roughly about 10 inches of our yarn. We're going to hold one end with the cut end basically with our right hand and the other side you can hold with your left hand roughly about 10 inches in. You're going to take the loop, the end of the yarn, and basically lay it down onto itself. This will now create a circle here. You're going to take this circle and lift it up and lay it down on the tail of your yarn. And you'll notice how I have a circle with basically the tail running through. You're going to hold the tail, grip that tail through the circle. And then we're going to take both yarns ends and you're going to start pulling on it. And see how that basically created a knot? The reason it's called a slip knot is because if I take both ends of the yarn and I pull on it, the knot disappears. The other way of making a slip knot is by wrapping the yarn around your fingers. And to do that, we're also going to be working on the end of the yarn again. Basically, I'm going to be doing almost all of the work in my left hand, and I'm just using my right hand to pull my yarn around. I wrap the yarn around my pointer finger and my middle finger, and I bring the yarn up and kind of lay it over top of each other. I'm going to pull the loop off my fingers, and I'm basically going to stick the yarn underneath the loop and I'm going to grab the tail and then pull on the ends. If I want to make the slip knot disappear, I just pull. Show you that one again. Wrap the yarn around. I'm going to pull off the loop and then I'm going to stick the loop, uh, the yarn through the loop. I'm going to hold on to the loop to the yarn and pull through. And there's our slip knot. To work with it, you're going to take your slip knot and your crochet hook. You're going to put the crochet hook through the slip knot and then you're going to tug to make that knot a little bit snugger. Now you don't want to get super tight because then it's going to be really hard to pull the crochet hook through your loop. So just so it's a little close, but you still have room to move it around. 